with some more idle heroes and as promised we are on the tap tap servers not android or ios we're on the chinese tap tap servers which they test the information and the new game modes and new features uh, a little bit more than regularly you see so uh we have the soul temple we have the soul gathering statue remember we had the soul perfection system last time it was complete garbage hopefully this one is a little bit better you can kind of see the interface here as well. Let's take a look at the rules. In the Soul Gathering Statue, you can obtain soul power points by uh, decomposing heroes of any awakening quality. Uh, and through the system, you can strengthen your heroes. Uh, decomposing the soul hero will increase the charging bar of the idol each time it is filled. You get one soul point. So yeah, it does look like you have to go to 100 points here to get a single soul point. Uh, soul power points can be allocated to heroes with a total awakening quality of B minus or above, which will increase the attribute gains brought by soul awakening, excluding the additional attributes. Uh, there's an upper limit to the soul power that the hero can possess, and the higher the awakening quality of the hero, the more soul power points we will get. After the hero is assigned soul power points, the strengthening effect of the soul power points can be affected on the hero. The allocated soul power can be viewed and adjusted in the soul power allocation interface, or all used soul power points will be refunded, recycled, redistributed, uh, hero, or can be, sorry. Heroes with soul power can be fully refunded when they are placed on the shelf in, uh, says Chamber Commons, is the auction house. So that is interesting here. We get to see how many points it takes. So a D plus hero essentially is going to give you one point. That's not too bad, honestly. I thought it was going to be worse than that. Uh, C tiers give you quite a bit of points. So a C plus gives you eight points. If you scrap a B plus hero, that gives you 60 points. All the way upwards of an SSS hero giving you 400,000, which is gives you 4,000 points. So it's going to be a lot to get to that cap that we saw from the spoiler screenshot. So... We're going to do something real quick. I need to just throw away hero on this account. You know what? I kind of want to still do a decent hero, though. We have, do we have any Aspens here? Can, can we get an Aspen on this account? <laughs> just in case we hit something crazy good. Uh, so we luckily have one free awakening because we don't really have any resources on Tap Tap. So let's use our one free awakening here. See what it ends up being. Oh, oh, we got some. Oh, my goodness. We got some points. Okay. So now instead of going up here and retiring, which is usually a smart play for free to play players to get 200 contract starry gems. Instead, now what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble heroes. So now you can see here that we can put a hero in a one click check D minus or D plus and below. Okay. So that would be like the real fodder heroes. Uh, so you can see here the progress bar goes uh, up to 800 additional points here. We do disassemble. The heroes will be consumed. Please confirm the decomposed hero. Confirm. We get the points. And now what we have is a total of eight soul points on this here. Now, the only thing we haven't really looked at here is, of course, the soul power distribution. And this is where we're going to allocate our points. You can see the soul power amplifications, the total of the eight points we have there. And it looks like you can return power to the core at any time now we do have a b hero here and it looks like you can give a b hero about a thousand points that's not too bad you know what? i want to look at something can do we actually have vesa copies it would be amazing if we had vesa copies but it seems like we don't are they considered non-elite at this point i think it is right so we can potentially get a Vesa or two, maybe. Darn it, it doesn't look like we can. We don't have any chests really either. Wait, yes, we do. Okay, hold on. No, that's that's a that, never mind. I'm I'm stupid. <laughs> Just ignore me. Here's what we're gonna do on the tap tap servers here. Don't do this. This is all for the sake of science and learning things here. I'm gonna grab a bunch of these copies out of here. Because it looks like we have other copies in the body. I'd love to distribute them around and see what the whole interface kind of looks like so what we're gonna do is come over here grab all of those copies out perfect eight copies is exactly what we needed and let's do this let's grab all the copies out from here and literally just no i, I keep messing up so oh this is gonna cost a lot of gems <laughs> it doesn't matter uh hopefully we have enough gems and i don't mess this up so we're basically gonna take every copy out 
first we got to put a new copy in then we can take a copy out then we have to put a new copy in then we have to take a new copy out <laughs> <laughs> then we have to put a new copy in oh my goodness the process of like swapping copies out is so tedious but hey this is what we want to do right <laughs> this is how we want to do it uh go to a blank wait no i just did that this i probably messed up one or two of these guys because honestly doing this live always kind of gives me a little anxiety i feel like i'm gonna mess something up wait yeah, I think I've done that a couple times, honestly. I think I should already be done, to be honest. But, uh, and then the last copy here, we're going to replace and then grab the B copy back. Okay, so we have all these additional copies now, which is good for a couple reasons. One of them is I just want to test some things out, see how it works. Uh, so it does look like you can only do it for B minus and higher. So they're not going to show up here. What I do want to do is go to hero selection. And yeah, you can click this automatically. That's cool. Disassemble, which is cool. We got more resources here. You notice you're not getting any contract starry gems for this either. Uh, I wonder if I should like, huh? Maybe I'll do this. <laughs> no, it's probably not worthwhile. You know what? It actually kind of is. I'm going to scrap one of these. And then what we're going to do is uh, do two more awakenings just to see if we can get some different tier heroes. Cause if we can get a different tier, that would actually be really cool especially a B minus or higher. Uh, probably not gonna happen. They're probably just gonna be garbage summons here, which are gonna be less power, but honestly, I don't really care about the power right now. I just wanna see if we can, nope. So we got a little unlucky or really just normal stats. Uh, so yeah, we can go to hero selection, select the rest of these, disassemble them, get a bunch more points up to 15. Uh, so essentially this is what we do. We can now associate single points, and it does look like speed is probably, what, like every 10 or 100? Probably every 100, it looks like. Uh, so we can put these stats into this hero, confirm it, and as you guys can see, you can put a max of 1,085 additional stats into a B-tier hero. Uh, and you saw it was like 5,600 for like an S-tier hero. Maybe it goes up to 700 or 7,000. I don't know. We'll have to see. But we have that there. Now she has the power. You can return it with one click and you get it all back and you can reassign it for absolutely no cost. So if you make a mistake, you're really not uh, kind of out of luck. Again, my guess is for every like 100 points, I feel like that should work. Actually, you know, let me pull up the image that we had. So the image we had, I'm going to go over to the news. Uh, we were getting 60 off of 1,000. What is that? So 1,000 divided by 60, that did not math out. 1,000, oh my God, 1,000 <laughs> divided by 60. So it's like every 17-ish. I don't know if that's actually gonna be the thing. It might be, uh, but yeah, it looks like you can reallocate it. So this could potentially be good. However, probably still not great for free to play because the way you get, you know, cores of origin and, um, sublimation are from soul awakening events which means you want to be able to retire them we'll have to see how it plays out though so this is probably going to massively affect the auction house even more because now they're not just about retirement value they're about powering up your existing heroes hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time